Hey guys, Anders here. I'm really, I'm really fucking pissed right now. Uh, listen to me. All right, I'm gonna make this video while I'm pissed. Cause guess what? This is just genuinely how fucking annoying this is to me. All right. If you don't like it, you can leave the video. You can dislike the video. I genuinely don't care. We're gonna talk about why Battlefield 5's gunplay is objectively, not an opinion, objectively and factually the worst gunplay ever put in a Battlefield game, and I even, I might even extend it to the worst gunplay I have ever played in my entire life. And this is probably going to confuse a lot of you that don't look into how the game actually works, or plays the game at a more casual level, right? That's completely fine. But what you guys need to understand is, I don't play the game at a casual level. I look into the game at an extremely detailed and high level viewpoint, okay? I am not going to lie to you guys. I'm going to tell you exactly how this game works and why it's dog shit. So, how does Battlefield 5's gunplay work? Battlefield 5's gunplay is random. It's completely random. The recoil is random, which means that it randomizes gunfights and your aim. Now, if you've ever felt like you can never quite control Battlefield 5's gunplay, this is why. It's because it's designed to not be controlled. It's designed to never be mastered, which is a disgusting, pathetic, ridiculously awful concept to have in a fucking game. It takes players' ability away to feel consistent. It takes it away. It ruins gunfights. You lose gunfights to the game rather than making a mistake yourself. It's unacceptable and should never be put in another game ever again. Now, how does it work? Basically, they're still spread in Battlefield 5. But you don't realize the spread because the spread is transformed into more recoil. The recoil is applied on a per bullet basis for fully automatic weapons. This does not apply to bolt actions or any semi-automatic Weapon. This is only for fully automatic weapons, guys. I want to make that very clear. This is why the SARs feel so good in comparison to some full auto weapons like the ZK. The ZK is one of the worst defenders for random recoil, especially on PC. Now, I also want to put a disclaimer here. Console players get less recoil, okay? This is not me being an asshole. This is not me trying to hold the fact that I play on PC over console players. I am simply stating irrefutable fact that can be backed up by Symphic.gg, who does testing on this stuff and actually found the exact values that recoil is reduced for controller input on console, right? Okay, so let's get that out of the way. If you're a console player, you might not notice this as much as PC players. That's just as simple as that. Aim assist helps with recoil control with slowdown and you get less recoil already. You already get less recoil. So if you're a controller player or a console player, you will probably not have the same effect as if you're a PC player. PC players get more recoil compared to you. And to top it all off, guess what they did to the gunplay in this game that made it even worse? If, if random recoil wasn't worse enough, right? What did they do to this game? They decoupled the recoil from screen center. What does that mean? So in every single FPS game you have ever played in your entire existence, you aim with the center of your screen. That is what it is. That is what aiming is at a basic level. You put the center of your screen over somebody and that's where you're aiming. Not in Battlefield 5. Not in Battlefield 5. You know what they did? They took that integral part of FPS, that essential part of FPS, and they said, let's change it for absolutely no fucking reason at all. Let's change it for no reason at all. What did they do with it? They tied the recoil or the point of reference where you're, where you're actually aiming to your weapon sight on top of random recoil. So what does that do? That means it can basically move wherever the fuck it wants and there's no point of reference for you to control recoil. And it also makes the, the, the gameplay animation affected. Say you're jump shotting someone, right? You know when you jump shot, you land and there's like a, your gun wobbles? Guess where you're aiming? Your weapon sight when it does that right? Your weapon sight when it does that. So even if you're aiming directly at someone with the center of your screen, you're not going to hit them if you shoot. It is an absolutely disgraceful, disgraceful example of how to make an FPS gunplay system. Now you might say, Enders, Battlefield 1's gunplay is so bad. Wrong. I'll tell you why. Battlefield 1's gunplay has recoil tied to the center of the screen like a normal video game. 
And guess what? It also has spread. There is no such thing as random bullet deviation. That is a term used by ignorant YouTubers who have no idea what they're fucking talking about. It is called spread. Spread was in Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Battlefield Hardline, and Battlefield 1. It's the same goddamn thing. Why is spread better than Battlefield 5's gunplay system? Objectively, spread is better because you can tell as a player when your spread is at the highest point. What does this tell you? You need to shoot slower. You need to stop spam firing. You need to wait. You can tell what's going on. You cannot tell what direction your weapon is going to recoil in Battlefield 5. You don't know when it's going to do that. You don't know how many times in a row it's going to recoil to the same place. You have absolutely not a chance in hell of accurately predicting what is going to happen in a gunfight in Battlefield 5. You have no idea. I've seen my gun do circles in Battlefield 5. I've literally seen it do figure eights, circles. I've seen it do crazy things in Battlefield 5. Guess what it never did in Battlefield 1? That. You know why? Because it's predictable. It is predictable. You know when spread is happening. You know what to do to counter it. There's nothing you can do to counter random recoil aside from playing like a bitch. And basically, it becomes a positioning game. Just a positioning game rather than an FPS game. You're not playing an FPS anymore. You're playing a, basically you're playing chess. You're playing chess with guns and it's a fucking disgrace. This is why Battlefield 5's gunplay is the worst ever. And this is why you need players like me that you can listen to and actually value their opinion so I can help you save your dying franchise. If Battlefield 6 has spread to recoil conversion, which is random recoil, and has, this, and has the point of reference decoupled from the center of the screen, I actually might die. I'm not even kidding. I might have a heart attack and actually die. Like, this needs to stop. This needs to stop immediately. This is, this can't, this just, just can't be allowed to go on any longer. It just can't be allowed to go on any longer. The decisions that are being made in the Battlefield studio are absolutely beyond help beyond help you need you guys need to understand that you are wrong you're wrong all those changes are wrong that you did in battlefield 5 it is objectively ridiculous okay i've been enders i hope you i hope you enjoyed this rant about how battlefield 5's gunplay is objectively the fucking worst thing i've ever seen in my entire life and i apologize in advance for the people that i piss off